Wild women, the ripping and the tearing. Yes, 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 ladies and gentlemen, we got a couple of UFO videos. These are pretty fun to watch. There's always good to cover these. So now this is a UFO over the Luthania, Luthania, Luthanian, I can never even say that right, parliament in 1991. This was put in the comments by a viewer. Let's go ahead and watch this clip. I think this one I'm going to play the audio with and we'll make some comments afterwards, right? Little intro here. And there we go. Never before seen in the West, this amateur footage purports to show a UFO over the parliament in Vilnius, capital of Lithuania. The craft hovers noiselessly, appearing to land. At dawn the next morning, local militia videotaped this nearby. That's a close-up there. Enhanced, the night visitor looks like this. It moves unlike a normal helicopter or plane. It almost looks like spider legs. On this thing. Well, that was it for that. Um, interesting, to say the least. And it's hard to find anything on this. You try to search it. But the poster, which is Alien Films, he left a comment down here that says, in case of vision above the parliament, most likely it was created with laser lights. This year, 2014, it was disclosed and confirmed that the laser projector was built as a kind of weapon at the time exactly on the roof of the parliament building. What I'm getting at here is... We don't really know what's what anymore. <laughs> so that's it. Wrap the whole show up. We don't know anything. Because things constantly, like, I, I proved this before with the, with the uh, deep fakes. You can make people say anything, make them look like they're doing anything. Video footage is not enough to vindict, vindicate somebody. So all you can do is go, all right, this is interesting stuff. And it, it, what a good way to cover something like that up, too, just to say it's a, a laser thing. This kind of reminds me of that UFO that was uh, above the, it was that pyramid UFO above the Pentagon. Was it real or fake? You don't know. And then they, there was that other UN speech that was obviously fake. Uh, that That woman of that, I forget her name at the, it escapes me, but um, it was a Russian name. Now, here's another video. This was filmed in Moscow. A fleet passing above in front of the moon. Very interesting stuff here. I'm going to just play it in B-roll and turn off the sound. And let it roll here. As we watch, and I'll comment over... So these are, they're specs, I mean, and you try to pay attention for stuff, anything that they're going to do, like maybe a fast 90, zip by, these are just kind of nicely floating slow. So could this be some kind of debris of some sort? One thing to note is that these are actually pretty big objects. And these could just be UFOs just cruising too. But the fact that UFOs can move out of our reality, why would they decide to be in our reality at that point? Just a little disclosure to get people to look? Or is it some of the SSP secret space program stuff? We don't know. But interesting nonetheless. Now they're, oh man, there's a ton of them. Again, trying to check to see if any other of these objects are going to like move out of sync a little, you know, a little bit faster than the others. They all look like they're relatively cruising together, like they're almost linked. But interesting nonetheless. That was, like I said, filmed in Russia, Moscow, on May 18th. 
and then posted the uh, it was posted on May 18th. So yeah, that's that. Let's move on to one more topic and then we'll take a break. This is, I was debating whether to play music or not, but we'll, we'll hold off on that because this is kind of a, well, actually, yeah, let's transfer over. I'm a police officer. Doesn't take that much to transfer over. All right. So this was another thing that covered the news topics, the news uh, cycle as well, is that there's this base over here above Area 51 that... Oh my God! They're kind of. It looks like it's. Uh, they could be housing some UFOs, and there's some stuff that looks like it's blurred out on the map there. This is on Zoom. Dot Earth now. I'm bringing it up on screen here, and what we got here is almost looks like about like an airfield. Now this thing is. Well, we'll get into the technical aspects of it later, but let's just for an oversight look at this thing. Now these are. Very, very nicely smoothed out angles. And when you look at it, it's like, wow, that's kind of, you know, is there something underground there? Because you can obviously see that these are land, like built up, if you will. And that there could be stuff under there. Underground entrances, if you will. It almost looks like a mine too. And there's equipment there. And there's a farm up here, actually. And I did some searching. Well, when you zoom back, I think, or is it? So this range here is between December 24 and October 17. When you zoom in, I didn't do it that time, but we can go back in time and click to that's September. August 2011, it's still there. So this has been here for some time. And the news acted like it was some newly built base thing. Doing a little research. This is actually called Complex City. And by the man named, built by a man named Michael Heiser. And it's 80 feet high, quarter of a mile wide, and about a quarter mile long. Began in 1972. It's been a 40 year process, has cost of tens of millions of dollars, about 50 miles from Area 51. It is based on awareness that we live in a nuclear area era. And uh, also, he notes in other articles that I read that he, want, he built this thing to basically, it's basically like a, th art, uh, a work of art for him. And he wanted to withstand future disasters, basically, like what we got with the temples of Aztec and the pyramids over in Egypt. But he's notoriously not welcoming of visitors. And he, he's an old guy, he's 71. And I think he just wants to get this finished. He has had some health issues back and whatnot. He wants to get this done and have it open to the public by 2020. Here's a better picture of it for you folks that are watching. The uh, on TV. Very interesting when you look at it. It does look like some uh, Aztec type stuff, and it looks like this could be like a, over here, like a sliding door for a UFO or something like that. But it's not. He just built this thing. It's built out of rock and concrete and all the hard materials that you can get from the earth. But it, uh, yeah, estimated to cost over twenty five million that's insane not very welcoming the visitors and i think it's just like one of those things artists don't like to show their stuff until they're completely done with it but it is interesting stuff and like i said we got to debunk this stuff when it comes up on the feeds uh the news made a big deal out of it there was a youtube channel guy making all this hype and at first look, you don't know what it is. I didn't know what it was. You know, if it was like an Area 51, why would they not have it like blurred out a little bit and you could easily see that there was a farm by it? A lot of questions. It was just like kind of obvious. But, yep, we'll uh, 
take a short break, ladies and gentlemen. And on the other side, we're going to look at some NASA tourist stuff. And then we're going to get into the DARPA telepathic technologies. Stay tuned. Talk is cheap. Call us live at 1605-562-0444. Show ID 146-509. Phone lines are open. This is Shane Robinson with Unbiased and On the Fence, and you're listening to Talk is Cheap with Dan Hofeld.